Hi, in this video I'd like to show you the process of creating a Maven project for Java using VS Code. So if you're looking at a video like this, you're probably a software developer, and you might even be in my classroom. So my name is Shad Sluter, and I teach software development at Grand Canyon University, and we use Java and VS Code on a daily basis. So let's take a look at this advantage of why you would choose Maven and how you would build the project. So you can see I've got Java installed. I have the plugins for the extensions on uh, VS Code. Uh, I've also installed Maven. So that's kind of a checklist of things that you want to uh, check out before you might get to this process. So I've got those videos as well. So check the description if you want to learn how to install Java, Maven, or set up VS Code extensions to run with Java. But in this video, the point is we're trying to create a project in this Maven architecture. So let's go through the process and you can see the details and understand what they mean. So there's a button here called Create Java Project. So if you don't see that, it's because you haven't installed Java or the proper extensions. And so once again, look in the video description for those links. But here we go. So Create Java Project. And I'm going to choose the second option, which is called a Maven archetype. And then it says you've got lots of choices to pick from here. So if you're building a website and you're using Spring Boot, you probably want to go find that archetype. And so uh, in my Java 3 class, which is about web development, we do that almost every time we start a new project. However, this is a very simple archetype. We're choosing the one called Quick Start from Apache Maven. So you can literally type that up here or you can select it from the drop down menu. So I'll choose this. What version do I pick? I'm going to pick the most current, which is 1.4. And now it says, give me a, a project name. So I'm going to use my name. So put com and my full name. So this should be unique. There are no other people in this world with that name. So if you were registering your app on a global scale, this is a URL that's reversed and it's unique to you. So reversed means instead of shadsluter.com, it's com.shadsluter. I'm going to press enter. Now the project that you're going to uh, name this is your artifact ID. So I'm going to call this hello, um, hello world one. So whatever name of the application you're building is where you would put that here. So hello world is all I'm making right now. The next pop-up says, give me a folder and where you should put this. Now, if you're a student, you should have a folder in your documents like um, some class name, so maybe Java 2 or Introduction to Programming. Whatever it is, let's make a new folder and we'll call this my programming class. And I'm going to open that. Let's see here. Inside there, I'm going to select this folder and it will automatically create a folder called Hello One. You can see that uh, the Maven build is going on and hopefully we have some questions that pop up in the console. Now, if you're getting errors at this point where it says can't find Maven or Java path not found or some other error like that, those are other errors that I've addressed in a separate video. So check out the video descriptions below if you have Java path or Maven errors. Okay, so, so far so good. I have a version one snapshot as my prompt. What does that mean? What is the version number of your program? So you can put anything you want in there. You could call it version one, version two, version 1.5, and they recommend using one. So I'm just gonna press enter and accept that. The next prompt at the command line says, is this everything that you really want? So I'm confirming these details. So the name of the project has got my name. It's called hello world one. The snapshot is the version number, and that's the package. If you just press enter, the Y prompt is by default. So I'm going to press enter. Now it says build success. So that's good. Once more, if you're getting errors down here, it's probably because some of those other errors I mentioned before. This one worked properly. It says your project hello world is created and it tells me the path. So it's got my folder documents and programming class. Let's go ahead and open this. So it will restart VS code now and it will automatically open the project. So let's go see what the project folder looks like. There's source, main, app, and there's hello world. Now what does uh, Maven do for you? Well, the main thing that people use Maven for are called dependencies and the dependency manager. 
So this POM file, P-O-M-X-M-L, is a configuration file that allows you to see what um, different extensions or libraries are working with your project. So you can see that several are here. So there's probably testing in the dependencies area. Yeah, so they've installed JUnit as part of the package. You can add more packages here if you know how to do that, but I'll save that for another video of why you would want to add packages and how Maven can help you. But the point here is just how to get the project started. So we're almost there. We're gonna have an error here because of version 1.7, but let's check the error out before we fix it. So I'm gonna to try to run this and you can see now it says you're compiling for version 1.7 and that's not gonna work. The reason why that doesn't work is because Java 7 is really old and it's not supported anymore. So let's go to our command line and check out to see what version of Java is installed on my computer. So I'm gonna type in Java version at the command prompt and you can see that on this particular computer, I have version 22, and that's exactly what I want to compile for then. So let's switch back to this configuration file, and instead of 1.7, let's put in a 22. So let's see, I'll erase that and put in 22. That's my source, and then the target version that I'm targeting is also 22. So if I press Control S for save, and I want to update it, this will now compile to the Java development kit at version 22. So if you have like version 17 on your computer of Java, this program will not run on that. It has to be 22 or later. So if you want to be very compatible, don't put 22, put like version 11 or 1.8, something older. It will still work fine for Hello World, but uh, this here is targeting my machine in particular. Okay, let's go back to app, try to run it and let's see what happens here. And now we have Hello World. And so that gets you started with a Maven project using VS Code. Now there's probably another error that you're going to encounter later. And so if you try to go to Maven and choose one of the lifecycle events and you choose clean, that instead of getting a success, you get a pop-up error that says Maven path is not found or something like that, then you still have to install Maven. So I'll leave that link as well in the description. So lots of links to configure VS Code with Java and many errors that can occur along the way. So maybe that's why you should come to class in person with me is you can learn how to do things with VS Code or Eclipse and uh, create software using Java and C Sharp and other languages that we teach in class. So thanks for watching and please subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.